Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So today's Swedish word, and I cannot believe that I haven't taken this word before, is quarantine, which is in Swedish karantän. Karantän. So today I'm going to talk about some products that I'm going to declutter from my collection. I have a few products that I don't want to keep anymore and that I just want to get rid of. And instead of me taking you along in my collection and filming my collection, I thought that it would make more sense to sit down and just feature the products that I don't want to keep anymore and tell you why. Because it's not gonna be like a brutal declutter. It's just a few items that I just don't want to keep in my collection anymore. So I'm going to start off with two foundations. The first one is this one. This is actually the newest foundation to me. I bought this this year. I was only allowed to purchase one foundation this year. No, during the first six months. Um, I have a low buy during the first six months. So I was only allowed to purchase one foundation, which I did. I did purchase this one. This is from Milani. This is the Screen Queen foundation, and this is in the shade 200. Before I bought this, I looked up reviews, and I heard a lot of people talk about the fact that it was sheer. It was, you know, a little bit dewy, but not like greasy. And I just felt like it just hit on the spot. I saw it on people's skin, and I was obsessed. I needed it, and I wanted it, so I ended up purchasing it. I wore it for two days, and I felt like my skin was breaking out and I knew that it had to be this one so I thought I'm gonna make sure and not use it for a while and then just let all of the irritation that I have going on in my skin settle and then I'm going to take it out again. Now I didn't see a lot of breakouts but I could feel like my skin was a little bit irritated but my main issue with this is that it doesn't look good at the end of the day on my skin. I took a couple of pictures just so I could show you. I just took it with my phone. Niklas saw these pictures on my phone because I was showing him, him something on my phone. Uh, and he was like, why have you taken those photos? And I was like, it's just for a YouTube video. As you can see, my skin looks like super dry. It has kind of balled up and I don't know how to explain it. I feel like the pictures are talking for themselves. I am the kind of person that wears my makeup from 6 in the morning to 10 at night. So I need something to last and this just doesn't even look good at the end of my work day. It doesn't even last me until like 3 o'clock, you know, so it gotta go. The other foundation is this one. I know that some people are gonna gasp and some people are gonna be like, what? But I am not the person that loves a full coverage foundation anymore. I would much rather prefer a medium. I feel like if I wanna go in with a full coverage foundation, I would much rather go in with something that isn't matte. My preference has changed a lot, as I said, and I have tried to blend in moisturizers with this. I have tried to blend it out with an oil. I've tried to blend it out with my custom enhancer drops from uh, Cover FX. I've tried different moisturizers, moisturizers and I still feel like the end result isn't worth all of the hustle that I'm trying. So I feel like it's better for me to just get it out of my collection. I also feel like the shade is a little bit grayish almost. I have the shade light beige and I feel like it doesn't really match with my skin. Now if I had two foundations in my collection I would keep this and I would just suck it up but I have so many foundations. I don't have that many because I have decluttered but I have some and I would like to downsize even more so I feel like the best thing to do is just to get rid of it and use the ones that I actually like. Another product that I am going to declutter is this one. This is a gloss from CoverGirl. We cannot get CoverGirl so every time I feature CoverGirl on my channel people always ask me where I bought them. I know that there is a few products you can purchase on Beauty Joint. I bought the foundation there but the rest of the covergirl products that i have was gifted to me by my friend ellie who lives in the u.s this is in the shade colorious oh my god colorious 640 juicy fruit i wore this and i thought that um a serum was breaking me out. Not breaking me out, but I had such a burn right here the entire day. I went like this the entire day because it just itched and itched and itched and I just couldn't take it. 
and then um, I went with this the entire day we had our dinner and then after dinner all of my lip products had come off so I just reached for this gloss to apply it not over a lip gloss or lipstick I mean just apply it on its own and I felt like it burned so it's this product i think it is that it contains a little bit of like chili or something because it's not the burn that you get from peppermint or something like that so this one as well it just i like it i like the shade i like the color i like everything about it like that but it's just it, it irritates my skin so i cannot use it unfortunately so if you saw my eyeshadow palette collection video you saw that i decluttered four palettes i just wanted to feature them here so that if you didn't see that video or i don't know you can see them here so the first one is the blush tribe lila 2 palette i told you guys that one of you guys were going to get it and a lot of people contacted me and was like you can give it to me there's no problem i can take it and i'm like yeah it's not that difficult for me to get rid of unused makeup i don't know how many but there were a lot of people that said that they wanted me to ship this to them this is going to my friend Ellie um, that I just talked about in the US. Blush Tribe is closing down and this was sent to me in PR and I never got around to use it. I think that Ellie is gonna love this palette. So we talked a little bit on Instagram and I asked her even before the video went live on my channel and I asked her if she wanted this. Now I think that this is a gorgeous palette and I for sure that I would love this palette. I would get some use out of this palette. There's like the shimmer shades in this palette is so pretty and now that I'm holding it right here I'm kind of changing my mind. I'm like no I want to keep it but I have promised her to uh, send it to her and I'm gonna do that actually two days so this is going to New York. I also featured the BH Cosmetics It's My Ray Ray palette. I just don't feel super inspired by this and I've said it so many times this year but I really want to downsize my collection and I want to um, be able to use the makeup that I have in my collection instead of just having a lot of makeup you know and I cannot use everything so I thought that this is unused I'm just gonna ship it to uh, some of you guys same thing with this palette this is the W7 hot tropic palette I bought this I was thinking that I was going to do a video on it but I never came around to do so this is just a dupe of the W no uh, Too Faced fruit collection or I don't remember doesn't really matter but yeah, I'm going to have this in some giveaway or something, give it to some of you guys. And then also the last one is the Blue Moon palette from Colourpop. I did not love the shimmers in this palette. Um, I feel like they were a little bit lackluster and I just didn't really love them on my eyes. The shades that I used was the shade Tide Pooled and Lumi, but this palette is almost like unused. I haven't even swatched all of the colors and you can see that it is in very good condition so i'm just gonna give it to someone i would much rather reach for the blue shadows that i have in uh my be no uh, be perfect stacy marie carnival palette i'm also going to get rid of a bronzer and it's not that i hate this bronzer or anything i actually really like this bronzer except for the scent so this is the physicians formula i don't even know butter bronzer i had the shade light bronzer so this is what it looks like. I have hit pan on it and again I could try and finish this one up but I don't want to because Physicians Formula is no longer cruelty free so I would much rather just get it out of my collection so that I don't even have to look at it because I'm honestly just annoyed when I see it. Uh, Physicians Formula did join the same sort of program that Wet n Wild did so they have to go and I hope that they change their mind in the near future. We have a couple more products. The next product is this one. This is from Revolution Skincare, and I actually love their hydration, hydrating moisturizer. Can't remember what it's called, but this one is in a way the mattifying boost. This contains Nia's, can't say that niacinamide, but it is very, very matte. There's nothing wrong with the formula. There's nothing wrong with the actual product. The only thing is that I don't really like it because of the fact that it is very, very matte on my skin. And I, as you guys know, like a little bit more of a glossy, dewy skin. And um, I can't really use it at night because I feel like it's a little bit too light for it. And I don't like to use it during the day because I feel like I get a little bit too matte from it. Um, so 
I'm getting rid of it and that's pretty good because I have many moisturizers. And then I'm also getting rid of this one. This is from a brand called Sjö Skin. Sjö is lake in English, just so you guys know. This is created by a mother and a daughter that lives in Värmland, which is a town in Sweden, or a place in Sweden, I mean. They have a very, very small skincare brand, and their honey mask is so popular in the skincare world. And I felt like, okay, this is a small brand. They do everything from themselves. It's Swedish. I mean, come on, I have to support it. So I bought both of the products I'm on the honey mask. I'm still testing it out a little bit. But this one is a no-go for me. It's nothing wrong with the, the pro actual product. The thing is that I was so um, stressed when I bought this because it went on sale on Bangerhead, which is a Swedish website. It went on sale and I wanted them so quick and I was on my lunch break, so I just put them in my cart and I felt like, okay, I'm gonna take this one as well. Did a really look at the ingredients and it contains rosehip seed oil. Most of it is just rosehip seed oil and that breaks my skin out so much. I get this these big bolts that I've talked about or boils, I think they're called, that I have talked about before cannot use it i hate it it's it, it just doesn't work with my skin so it's not anything towards the product it's just the ingredients doesn't go well with my skin i'm allergic or something to it and the last two products is actually two lipsticks that is unused these are from ColourPop. again i have a lot of unused makeup i have a lot of uh, makeup products in my collection that i just don't use and this year is a time where i kind of want to get things out of my collection and just have the products that i love and use and these two i actually bought this fall thinking that i was going to love these shades during the fall which i probably would have but now i feel like i have these shades over and over they are very very similar as well they are in the shade tea time and la lady again i love color pops uh, lipsticks but I feel like I have a little bit too much so they are going and since they are unused I know a lot of people uh, would love to have them uh, but that was my little like, declutter video today so I hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up sorry if you didn't like the video thumbs the video down don't forget that you can subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye guys